Hello and welcome to Rules and Rulings, helping you to be judge, jury, but hopefully not executioner of your TTRPG games. The TTRPG we're talking about today is DC20, and we'll be going over Bard 101, how to make a DC20 Bard and what options are available to you. In DC20, the Bard is a support focus class who's a full spellcaster. They have access to conjuration, divination, enchantment, illusion, and restoration spells, and they have a magical performance that provides ongoing benefits to you and your allies. They're heavily flavoured towards a concept of performing in some way or another, and their ability to inspire others is represented by a buffed help action, which they can use at range and use on other people's turns. In DC20, certain key things like spell checks, attack checks, awareness checks are are all based on your highest attribute, or your prime. This gives you a lot of freedom when making your character to decide which of the attributes you wish to favour. This is especially good in the Bard's case because none of their early level abilities make any reference to specific skills or depend on particular attributes. This makes your choice of prime largely a matter of taste. Mighty Bards have more hit points than their counterparts, expand their options for grappling and shoving, and can further cement their position as a supporter if they end up on the front lines. It might be the road to take if you want your Bard to be the kind that starts to have and brawls and gets up in everyone's business. Agility is a good pick for any class with light armour, which is more than likely going to be the case for your bard. The increase to their physical defence makes them harder to hit and also plays into the role of the bard as physically talented. High agility makes a bard better at fainting, hiding, and other acts of trickery, which can be very dramatic. Bards are one of the classes that get a lot of skill points as they level up and focusing on intelligence can further boost this aspect of the character. Your stereotypical know-it-all bard who has experience with a bit of everything might have an intelligence focus and a lot of knowledge skills to call upon. And finally, bards are traditionally, across most games they appear in, social characters. They're often the face of the party and the one who does all the talking. In DC20, charisma improves the influence skill and it provides grit. Since grit can prevent damage and help allies with their saves, it can be a good tool for a bard to stay on their feet and provide further support while playing into that charismatic fantasy. As a bard, you're quite likely to be focused on support and magic unless you intentionally push your character in the direction of martial prowess. A light weapon might be useful for those times when spellcasting isn't the best approach available, and light armour is probably the way to go unless you plan to pick up an unarmoured defence with your level 2 talent. A shield is an interesting option, perhaps easier to justify on an auditory bard, as they won't need the somatic components that having two full hands would otherwise interfere with. But deciding on a go-to magical performance will help you feel more comfortable in combat, a bard can be a very reactive class and it has a lot to pay attention to, so establishing some defaults can be helpful. The bard's remarkable repertoire gives them access to a couple of key options to really define the bard. The performance style is largely a flavour decision. You're either auditory or you're visual. One of those styles allows you to perform spells silently or when you can't speak, and the other allows allows you to perform them without free hands or when you can't move. Both good options, but it really comes down to your style of performance. Remarkable Repertoire also gives you two additional spells from any spell list or spell school. That's a lot of options. At least one of them needs to be a cantrip, but the obvious recommendation here would be to look outside of what the default bard already gives you. For example, you could pick up a destruction cantrip to give yourself a little bit more aggressive utility. So let's look at a couple of example builds for what we could do as a DC20 bard. Starting off with a troubadour, the quintessential travelling performer bard. Let's make our prime ability charisma, high agility, decent intelligence, and we'll dump might. Their equipment is largely a matter of taste. In their most stereotypical form, the troubadour would want to be swanning around the battlefield playing an instrument. So perhaps we're waiting on spellcasting focus rules to really give us a clue about what the troubadour would want here. For spells, we'll take Befriend and Guidance for our elbow rubbing socialites cantrips. For full spells, let's take the Performance Geared Silent Image and Fog Cloud, and we'll throw Bless in there for the little combat utility. The troubadour is definitely an auditory bard, the current spell selection being what it is ahead of the upcoming spell update. We'll take Dancing Flames and Shield as our bonuses. At second level, the Troubadour is going to take the commander's stamina recovery feature, allowing them to gain a stamina every time they help an ally, something they're already quite good at. We can spend the stamina on the heroic parry technique, which we'll get thanks to picking up a martial talent, allowing us to keep ourselves and our allies out of harm's way. Next we have the Skald, the battle bard, roaring, charging into battle, inspiring allies as they go. We're going to make might and charisma equally our prime stats here. Not worry about agility too much, and we're going to dump intelligence. The Skald is going to charge into battle with an axe and shield, screaming as they go. For spells, the Skald is going to focus on the combat utility the bard options provide, close wounds, mage hand, bless, heal, and psychic fear. With their repertoire, the Skald can gain even more combat prowess, taking the lightning blade cantrip for extra damage, and returning shock so we can punish people who hit us. Which brings us to our level 2 talent. We're going to take the Barbarian's Rage feature. This makes us more likely to be hit, but we have some damage resistance and we can take the raise shield maneuver to prevent damage. And then, because in DC20 raging doesn't stop spellcasting, we can use returning shock to punish them for their audacity. And that's the DC20 bard.
If you've been checking out the alpha, if you've been checking out the Kickstarter preview, or if you're already a member of the beta community, let me know about your bard builds. The hope is to do a 101 guide like this for every class in DC20. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.